Hello and welcome to the session. Let us discuss the following question. It says Radha made a picture of an aeroplane with colored paper as shown in figure. Find the total area of the paper used. Let us now move on to the solution. Now to find the area of the paper used, we need to find the area of the five figures 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So we first find the area of the first figure which is a triangle. Actually it's an isosceles triangle, right? So the area of first figure which is a triangle is given by the Heron's formula which is S into S minus A into S minus B into S minus C where S is A plus B plus C by 2 and here A is 1 centimeter if this is 1 centimeter this is, then this is also 1 centimeter B is 5 cm and C is also 5 cm. So S is 5 plus 5 plus 1 upon 2 that is 5.5. So the area of first figure is equal to under the root of S which is 5.5 into S minus A that is 5.5 minus 1 into 5.5 minus B into and here B is 5 into S minus C that is 5.5 minus 5 and this is equal to under the root of 5.5 into 4.5 into 0 0.5 into 0 0.5 and this is equal to 2.6 approximately. Now we find the area of the second figure which is a parallelogram. So, area of second figure is equal to the area of the parallelogram and area of the parallelogram is given by base into height. Now here, base of the parallelogram is 1 centimeter and the height is 6.5 centimeter so it is 1 centimeter into 6.5 centimeter so the area is 6.5 centimeter square and here also we need to write the unit of the area which is centimeter square now we see that figure 4 and figure 5 both have the same dimensions. So we find the area of figure 4 which is a triangle and it is a right angled triangle. So its area is given by 1 by 2 into base into height. Now here base is 1.5 cm and height is 6 cm so the area is 1 by 2 into 1.5 cm into 6 cm and this is equal to 4.5 cm square which is same as area of the figure 5.
Now we have to find the area of figure 3 which is a trapezium. Now to find the area of this trapezium we divide this trapezium into two figures and for that we draw a line parallel to this line since we want to form a parallelogram. So this is also 1 cm. So we have divided a trapezium into two figures. One is a parallelogram, the other is a triangle. Now this length is 1 cm. And since this is a parallelogram, opposite sides are equal and parallel. This is 1 cm, this is 1 cm. And if this is 1 cm, this length is also 1 cm. And since this much is 1 cm, so the remaining is also 1 cm because the total length is 2 cm. So the remaining length is 1 cm. Let's name these two areas as A and B. So the area of figure 3 is equal to area of A which is a parallelogram plus area of figure B. Now we see that Figure B is an equilateral triangle. So, the area of figure B, which is an equilateral triangle having sides as 1 cm, is given by root 3 by 4 into A square, where A is the side of the equilateral triangle. Now, here A is 1 cm. So the area becomes root 3 by 4 into 1 cm square which is equal to root 3 by 4 cm square which is equal to 0 0.433 cm square approximately. Now the area of the triangle is also given by the formula 1 by 2 into base into height so this implies this area is equal to 1 by 2 into base into the height and this implies height is equal to 0 0.433 into 2 upon base. Now here the base of this equilateral triangle has length 1 cm. So this becomes 0 0.433 into 2 upon 1 cm which is equal to 0 0.866 centimeter. So the height of this triangle is 0 0.866 centimeter which is same as the height of the parallelogram. Now we have to find area of figure A which is a parallelogram. which is given by the formula base into height. Now here base is 1 cm and height is 0 0.866 cm. So this becomes 1 cm into 0 0.866 cm. So the area of figure A is 0 0.866 centimeter square. Now area of figure 3 is area of A plus area of B. Now area of B is 0 0.433 centimeter square. Let's call this as 1. 
and area of parallelogram that is figure A is 0 0.866 cm square approximately let's call this as 2 now area of figure 3 is equal to 1 plus 2 now that is area of B plus area of A. Area of B is 0 0.33 centimeter square and 2 is the area of A which is 0 0.866 centimeter square. So the area of the figure 3 is 1.3 centimeter square approximately. Now, the area of paper used is equal to area of figure 1 plus figure 2 plus figure 3 plus figure 4 plus figure 5. Now area of figure 1 is 2.6 cm approximately, area of figure 2 is 6.5 cm square approximately and area of figure 4 and 5 are equal which is 4.5 cm square and the area of figure 3 is 1.3 cm square. So let's substitute all these values and this is equal to 19.4 cm square approximately. Hence the area of the paper used is 19.4 cm square approximately. And this completes the question. Bye for now. Take care. Have a good day.